Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is another experiment. I've seen several people talking about uh, which submachine gun's better, the R99 or the Volt. So I decided to test it out. So let's get into it. The first thing I want to test is the Volt. This is just a plain Jane, no attachment uh, Volt, and we'll test it from about three meters away. Body shots. And as you can see, one round to the body does 16 damage. Here we're going to repeat those results to make sure we get the same numbers. Yep, 16. Now let's move on to headshots. Headshots deal 24 damage. And we fire one more round just to make sure we get the same results. Now let's move on to the R99. Same test as before. Plain Jane R99 body shot. And there you have it. One body shot hits for 11 damage. Now let's make sure we can repeat those results. Yep, 11. Let's move up to the head. See how much damage we get. 17 to the head. Repeat the results. And there you have it. That's the R99. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison with a no-attachment Volt versus a no-attachment R99. Now I'm putting the Volt. Volt groups will be on the left and the R99 groups will be on the right. There are the two groups with the Volt. As you can see, the R99 definitely fires faster. Let's walk up and take a closer look at those groups. As you can see, the R99 does not have quite as much recoil as the Volt, but the Volt seems to be more vertical, whereas the R99 is more of an S pattern. All right, this next series of tests, I will be running attachments on them. We'll start with the, uh, the blue, the rare. Blue stock, blue light mag, blue barrel stabilizer. And here you can see the recoil from the all blued out R99. Now let's try out the blued out Volt. Same distance, same wall. And last mag. Let's go take a look at the results. And while it's clear that both weapons did benefit from the attachments, I have to say the winner would be the R99. The recoil just seems much less compared to the Volt. In this next test, we're going to add the best of the best. As many gold and purple attachments as these weapons can hold. And we'll see what the results are going to be for that. As you can see, same wall, same distance. Just gold barrel stabilizer and purple stock. There's the first mag. And the second mag. I'm going to swap to the R99. Again, gold barrel stabilizer, purple stock. Seems like the recoil... Feel, it, the recoil feels higher with the gold barrel stabilizer on the 99 than it did with the blue one. It's kind of weird. Let's look at the results. And here you can tell the R99 does not seem to benefit from the gold barrel stabilizer. At least not compared to the Volt. The R99 with the gold barrel stabilizer seems to be more comparable to a Volt with a blue barrel stabilizer. Which, I don't know if that's a bug or... I have to go back and do some retesting, but as as of right now, I'm gonna have to not recommend the gold barrel stabilizer on R99. And with that, my opinion would be pick up the bolt. Yes, I know that the R99 naturally outputs more damage just because of its higher fire rate. However, I find this fire rate to be way harder to control over the volts. Now, if you're a high tier player who can easily control the recoil, then yeah. The R99 is probably the gun for you, but if you're more of an average to slightly above average player, then a Volt is just an easy to use and very consistent feeling submachine gun. The slow fire rate coupled with the better than average submachine gun damage makes the Volt the clear winner in my opinion. But again, that is my opinion. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.